Michael, as we get into game number one here, loser round four, Grand Valley State. Um, you just got to put your foot, foot down and command the room. These guys need to be coached and they need to be uh, commanded. So I think uh, that was the message probably in between games if I was Yusuf. And, well, St. Clair looked good. GVSU coming off of a tough loss there in the upper bracket. Here we go. Yeah, they're going to be looking for revenge there. Even though the Saints didn't cause it, they're going to end up getting the backlash if they are not careful. As we see Alpha just straight up dive bombing the net there for a second. Okay, and the net's barely going to get denied there by Spoods. Off the Cyber Sausage, going to be bringing it over into the crease. Going to be denied, and the Saints finally clear this thing out. See a bit of a back and forth right now. Nothing doing for either side as Nitrix out of boost. So he's going to be pretty much taken out of the play, but Cyber out of boost himself. No clear shot on goal, and Chris is there for the clear now. And just, again, back and forth right now, trying to gain any sort of uh, control of the field as Christian, again, just playing tennis right now with the GBSU squad. I mean, we're playing tennis, but we're only using the Saints half of the court for the most part. Like, sure, nobody's getting a shot off, but the Saints aren't even close. Because right now, GBSU, all the pressure in the world, sure, Saints cleared it out for a second, but just went right back. Now Christian's trying to start something up along the side, going to be punting it off into the crease, but immediately going to be answered there by Kay. He tries to bring it up center, but now it's going to be Spoods who takes this thing along. They get the clearing blow, but they just don't necessarily have the control right now as we see Alpha up the side. Yeah, no control really from either side so far in this one. You saw a little bit of pressure towards the St. Clair zone just about a minute ago, but nothing doing as of yet. That shot's going to get down, but not going to be anywhere close to the goal as Spoods going to clear that one out. Alpha with a nice little stoppage there as he's going to look for an opportunity to set his teammates up. Nothing doing yet. And now, Grand Valley State looks for any sort of opportunity. Well, it gets knocked down to their own end. So you can just tell the uh, the skill gap is so much tighter already in this game. With how confident both these teams are just flying through the skies and making plays, it is absolutely outstanding to watch here. As we see Alpha again trying to make some sort of offensive play happen. Did manage to set it up for one of his teammates, but a huge save on the line there from Nitrix. And I believe Spoots was there as well to assist in making that one happen. Right on the line, Spoots now going to clear this out. Give St. Clair just the briefest of opportunities for a breather. But that's all that it's going to be making of it, because right now we're just basically dancing back and forth on the center line. Yeah, dancing back and forth again all game long. Decent opportunity for GVSU, but no real offensive chances there for St. Clair. But there's one! What a touch from Spoots as he's going to pot that one in. Great setup, a self setup over to Christian. And wow. Spoots with the slightest touch able to get the first goal on the board. And well, there's your scoring opportunity and they take advantage. Right at the halfway point, what looked like any other clear that we have been seeing basically this entire game, did not look threatening at all. Just maybe gonna bounce off the cross or like above the crossbar and just bounce out. No, actually redirect immediately. And Spoods is gonna make them pun or get punished again. Second goal of the game. Spoods, usually the core defender on this team is the core goal scorer here in All right. round four and Spoods having his best start of this Saturday and uh, well, well absolutely yeah because normally I think like I said he's been the more the, de the defensive style word but yeah getting two goals off the start must be huge to say the least now and now GVSU if they weren't angry already I mean, they're probably livid now. And that extra little demo on top is just the chef's kiss here. As we now see Christian looking to try and drop down. Would have dropped under K, but Alpha was there for backup. So good on GVSU's defense. But the Saints, now that they have the confidence, here they come again with yet another like centering attempt, but could not quite find the shot. Actually, Spooz again, looking for that hat trick. Not quite going to find it, but it's still just comfortably in GVSU's zone to the point where uh, they can't get any offense in. Yeah, you're starting to see some player oh. move around really nicely on the map. The rotation's so clean. You see his foods, even when he jumps up into play, he, know he, he knows he has support around him. A good shot on goal off the crossbar oh. was Cyber. Almost put that one in to cut the lead in half, but nothing doing yet. Alpha with an opportunity. Shot on net. That one goes right. in. And now, one goal game with just over a minute to go. GVSU get a much needed goal at this point in time exactly what they needed. Christian was there, but unfortunately that last little touch just redirected it a little bit too far. Well played on the team there of GVSU to secure that one, keeping it now within one, still extremely doable. Christian though, right off the face off with a mini breakaway for himself, nearly got it, but Alpha is gonna get enough of it. But how about the secondary shot? Spoods, the hat trick to seal the deal maybe? <laughs> Spoods is having the game of the day so far.
doing it all oh. himself this game. And you know what? It, it takes the pressure off of Christian and, and Nitrix. You know what, guys? I got this. You can have a you can have a game off. That's all right. Just play some good defense, and that's exactly what they're doing too. And Spoods able to pot his first hat trick of the day. Man, he's looking good right now. I mean, normally I'd say he's snapping axles in this situation, but if you're in the skies, you can't really, like, what are you doing? He's just managing to get these jukes out anyway. So fantastic job in his own right. Looking for number four. If it's actually taking two members of GVSU to hit the skies to deny him that time by to look for some sort of offense. I mean, this is still doable, especially if there's an opening like that. Cyber Sausage finding the Saints, going for boost and going to punish. Yep. Spoo's caught out going for boost and that whole sequence just wasn't uh, fluid for the Saints and just the rotation's not not quite uh, synergetic. I don't even know if that's a word, but synergetic mm. uh, was lacking uh, for St. Clair right there. GVSU, GVSU take advantage. Still lots of time here to tie this one up. 40 seconds left to go. Okay, looking to do work. I was going to say, a minute with two goals, it's like, okay, Saints are sitting comfortable. 30 seconds with one, okay, I'm nervous. We'll have to see, especially now, okay, a little bit in the tank for one additional flick. Looks for the lineup, has Alpha with him. He actually knocked it out of Alpha's way. Unfortunate play there for GVSU, but fantastic here for the Saints. Spoods and the rest of the Saints just have to control this thing. I like what Spoods did there, just to slow it down on the center line and just stall this thing out. A good, good opportunity here for Nitrix. Couldn't get a clean knock on it, though, trying to put the game away. Five seconds left to go. The opportunity now for Cyber, but Spood shuts him down. They need to keep this ball in the air, but they're already in their own oh. end. Ball's going to touch. St. Clair take game one. GVSU come oh so close, but a team bump stops that from happening. Okay, so now they're angry, but I'm not convinced that they're also not angry at each other, and that's always <laughs> a very, very worrisome spot. When you start seeing the players just incidentally, like, tackling each other or accidentally robbing each other of a shot opportunity, like we saw at the end there, I mean, I don't care how disciplined you are, you are going to be shaken up a little bit. So we'll have to see what happens here with GVSU going into game number two, because that even with all those things happening, that was still extremely close. Yeah, uh, 100%, and then it... Really, just one poor sequence from St. Clair cost them the goal. But other than that, um, like we talked about it early in the game and even towards the middle point of that game. Everything was just very fluid on, mm -hmm. on the field. They they were picking up uh, op empty space, um, just replacing each other when someone decided to jump into the rush. And they did a great job all game long and ultimately got the win because of it. So we go into game two as we're getting set here momentarily. And, uh, well, GVSU, again, with these best of threes, no room for error whatsoever. Yeah. And uh, already with their with an opportunity to be knocked out of Saturday prematurely. Yeah, because we, yeah, we don't see best of fives until loser's quarters. So that's still so far away in the in the bracket. And the one thing I want to give a shout-out for in regards to plays, we're giving Spoots a shout-out. Well, I want to give him a shout-out for one more, three, or one more thing. So that was three goals. Yes. On three shots, 100% wow. nicely done. But now game number two here in the series going on right now. Game number two underway. Here we go. St. Clair looking to put GVSU away. Our friends just across the border in Detroit, Michigan, as Christian and company looking to do what they should have done earlier on is put teams away quicker. Now they're able to do so here in the loser's bracket. But opportunity to do so now is Again, back and forth, uh -oh. nothing really doing here, but perhaps a mistake again, but oh! it, moves. it somehow stays out. I don't know how that one didn't go in as a huge opportunity for Cyber. Pays nothing doing for GVSU. So I'm going to hand you a gift and I'm going to give you a gift in return is basically what just happened there. The accidental whiff on the clear with the whiff on the shot on top of it. But K is going to get the rebound here and just stop that sequence and get things right back on track. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got to think that was a goal necessary for GVSU's entire mentality going to, uh, into the rest of this series. Uh, K able to finally get that one in the net, and they have their first lead of the series. And Well, not a great start for the Saints, but nevertheless, still a million, million minutes it's going to feel like for them to tie this one back up. And while well, they control the back half of game one, 
looking to do the same here in game two. Can they get it done? Is it also the opportunity here for a little bit of a GVSC resurgence, though? Maybe all that anger is being used for the good, or maybe they're just not angry at all, and I'm just coping. We'll see as we now have Cyber Sausage pop fly towards the net, but that is going to be Spoots back there to at least stop the first initial shot. K is there alongside Nitrix, going to get the ball from them just this moment, but Nitrix still battling it out. No boost does not matter. Just keeping himself, keeping the car right on the ball, interfering with everything that he possibly can to make sure that does not go towards the net. Spoots now, offensive opportunity, passes on over. Nitrix with the finishing shot, and ties this all up at one. Welcome to the series, Nitrix. Your first goal in this one. Again, that was just a very clean setup. Nothing too complicated about that one. As good offensive play from St. Clair. They tie it up. And uh, Spoot's not having to do all the work so far in this game as uh, <laughs> Christian and Nitrix both get on the board early. Yeah, still had a huge hand, of course, in setting that one up, but a fantastic finishing touch there from Nitrix. But now Cyber Sausage and the rest of GVSU are right back on the attack. They get one who did end up going a little bit wide, and the Saints are going to try to rebound this. Actually cleared right back, and K is there, going to try and get past his own teammate first. Again, a little bit of a miscommunication there between them and, uh, and Cyber Sausage. Wow. And that is going to be Nitrix getting his second on the punish. On the punish is Nitrix. Puts it in, great clear and great individual effort again from Spoods. Sheesh. As I believe, I believe that's his second assist of the game. Yep. And uh, just drops that down low. Nitrix there to just tap it in. Defense, no go for GVSU and SEC, their second straight goal. If I'm going to gush about one thing here for the Saints is the fact that they're willing to take these plays. So many players, even players of ours in the past, would have gotten in that opportunity where they're carrying the ball up in the skies like that, and they just would have dive-bombed it themselves and tried to take the shot. But selflessly, or, yeah, selflessly making that pass over is fantastic. And Alpha is actually going to shut me up right here, right now. Stop gushing. We're on the field, too, you know. Tying this up at two. Yeah. Nitrix so close to knocking this one away. Just a bit oh. late as that one goes over his rear view mirror into the back of the net. GVSU with a good answer and a quick answer nonetheless. Oh. So now we're even, two and a half minutes left to go. Oh my goodness, an immediate dive bomb there for Cyber Sausage, looking for an individual play for himself, but could not find it this time by Alpha now on the center line. Bit of an awkward 50. Good little slowdown actually there from Cyber to try and get around some of the Saints, but it's not going to work out this time by. Alpha now off to the side in the Saints zone, looking for the centering as it does manage to get past Nitrix, but it's going to be Spoods now, basically right at home in the sky. He's like the quarterback of sorts, waiting to see where he can put this ball. Pinch goes right, right to the left-hand side, just a bit wide, but up into the sky. Cyber Sausage now going to make the clear. Yeah, St. Clair trying to replicate the magic from the second goal. He saw Spoods do exactly what he did with Nitrix beat underneath, him. but who needs him? It's Spoods getting his fourth of the series and six points for him now just looks so so clean as St. Clair retake the lead under two minutes to go. Spoots basically had to drag race two people but granted those two people were in the skies so had the speed advantage was able to get to the ball just millimeters before the other player and able to put that one through. Fantastic job from him and the rest of the Saints as well, but it does not look like they are done. Bringing on the pressure here. Spoods again, trying to quarterback this play. Passes it back on over to Christian. He's going to pop fly this towards center. K is there for GVSU, so it's not going to be passed over comfortably, but GVSU cannot relax just yet. Another pop fly. Big save there from Alpha. Going to straight up use his roof to just uh, pop that one above the crossbar. You see the hunger setting in now for St. Clair. They want to put this one away right now, looking for that fourth goal on the board as GVSU scrambling to get any sort of offense. Great effort by Christian again. Nitrix trying to set him up. Nobody home right now, but the pressure's still there. You see Nitrix keeping it in the orange zone as Christian follows him up down to the right corner. Centered up front. No way! He's gonna sneak in. Somehow puts that home from the corner as Christian on the board here in game two. A massive sharp angle shot. It does not get wow. that much closer to the wall than that. That's gonna be Nitrix as well with the assist. And now Saints with a little bit of insurance here with a minute left to go. Just looking to seal the deal here in losers round four. Trying to seal the deal. Knock out GVSU, one of the top four seeds here. Oh this boy. One. But Cyber, again, they just love to shut us up whenever we try to talk about the opposition as Cyber, who's had himself a fantastic series. 
now and cuts the lead in half again. And Alpha and Cyber Sausage have been getting in each other's way this entire series. And finally, when things are going both their way, staying out of each other's way and setting up for each other, it's incredible to see the kind of stuff that they can get done. But it might be a case of too little, too late, as we have ourselves about 40 seconds left. They need one more goal to tie this one up, and they're kind of stuck on defense right now. Stuck on defense, as they have been really for the majority of the last two minutes, able to finally take advantage of their one op offensive opportunity they've had uh -oh. a few minutes ago, but a good opportunity now. Spoon's trying to clear it up, but K with a shot on goal, can't get a clean touch. Alpha tries to keep it in. No legitimate pressure right now for TVSU, but Cyber tries to take it himself. You see Alpha, no boost, just going to have to touch this one. Keep it down towards the St. Clair zone. 13 seconds left to go. Spoons gets this one knocked out to midcourt, but no, it's going to be Cyber there for the stoppage. Nitrix shuts him down. K back and forth again. TVSU last chance opportunity. Tournament on the line. Not going to happen as Christian trying to knock it down. There it goes. And he will. And St. Clair... Hang on in game two to take the series. Okay, so they're keeping this close to keep things interesting, apparently, because what a fantastic series in terms of closeness there between those two teams. But Saints coming out on top here, getting, I'd call, I'd call it an upset, but I don't know. Either way, it's a fantastic win nonetheless. GVSU is no slouch at all. But now, this means we get to move on over to the lower bracket once again. Lower round five. We're right on the doorstep of the top eight, if I do recall. We'll see momentarily here. This now puts us up between the winner of Florida Southern and another GVSU. Or uh, MSU, it looks like. But yeah, we're right on the doorstep of the loser's quarters. They're making this run work for them, to say the least. They are. Um, you know, the, you got to think they'll have a more favorable opponent next round, even even less so than GVSU. GVSU, I believe, the number three seed coming into this. So, mm -hmm. uh, seed wise, it was an upset. Um, obviously, uh, you know, based uh, St. Clair based not having Vesh uh, in the lineup, but. You know, they're doing work in the lower bracket, like you said. They're making it work for now. And you see UTK White, who, again, no slouches, a pretty good mm. opponent as well, uh, waiting there in the winners, uh, sorry, the losers quarterfinals. And then we get into the best of fives. That's where things start to get interesting. But we got one more series to go before we get there. It's do or die for St. Clair as uh, we're getting into that matchup. Looks like the matchup before is just starting. Yeah. So we're going to actually throw it to a quick little break. Probably should, yeah. Um, while we wait for that, don't go anywhere. More CCA summer qualifiers continuing after this.